Hi, honey. Hi, darling. I was kind of hoping that we can spend a little time together. I got this new book, and I know that your life has been quite busy and loud. I was hoping that we can have some quiet time. Quiet time for couples, a daily devotional, that is. Written by Norman H. Norman Wright. Sit down, relax. Take your shoes off. Kick those dogs up. And let's have devotional, baby. So, we come to the day of March. For our daily devotional today, it says, Do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God, with whom you are sealed for the day of redemption. Get rid of all brawling and slander, along with every form of malice. That's from Ephesians 4, 30 and 31. Boo. In this passage, Paul mentions three or more negative characteristics which must be evicted from us as individuals and in our marriages. No brawling, slander, or malice. Brawling is violent and abusive. Negative verbal outbursts directed at each other who has completely lost their cool. There seems to be a correlation between the volume of destructiveness of words. Some people attribute this kind of verbal abusiveness to their family background. They blow up because this is how their parents handled interpersonal conflict. That may be, but there are two questions to consider when verbally brawling. What does it accomplish in a positive way? Is it keeping with how God wants me to be? What we have learned in our original family can be unlearned and a new pattern can be learned so that we can have good marriages. Have you ever been slandered? It hurts. It cuts. It's hard to defend against. Results can linger for years, even when the slanderous statement was false. Slander is abusive talk against another person or against God. Okay, it says lawsuits are filed every day. Malice is a strong word. It reflects our motives or intent. It has been defined as the evil inclination of mind or the perversity of disposition that finds pleasure in hurting another person. The phase, you hurt me and I will make you pay for it, is malicious and it has no place in marriage, no matter how bad the offense has ever been. Are any of these residing in your marriage? Let them go, give them up, and replace them with the response found in Ephesians 4 and 32. Love, baby, love believes all things. And if you're in a marriage, make time for quiet time, quality time, devotionals. Keep God at the front of your marriage. Get rid of slander and brawling. And let's give into peace and love and love making. Nice to see you, boo. I'll see you tomorrow for our quiet time devotional. Where I can feed your spirits. And we let the Holy Spirit help us. <laughs>